Hello YouTube, welcome back to a YouTube video. So two weeks ago today, I had hip labral surgery. And I'm doing the second video on just an update on where I'm at and how I'm feeling. So these next couple of videos, you're just gonna see me stand on a crutch, one crutch actually. I uh, knocked it down to one because my leg's starting to take a little bit more pressure off now. Uh, and Dre recorded for me, so you can take a look at that. So it's been two weeks since I got hip labral surgery, and right now I'm on one crutch. But that's just to get around the house, but around stores and stuff like that, I'm on two. I'm able to put pressure on it now. So I started PT already, and we just did normal stuff like to reduce swelling, uh, groin, hip, everything. We activated the whole leg just to reduce the swelling. So the pain is still the same when I sit down. When I stand up, it's not bad at all. Like I said, I only use one crutch because I can still put weight on it, but I don't want to get rushed it by walking around with just one crutch. Uh, I don't really try much walking without them. Maybe just to, like walk across my room to grab, grab crutches and stuff like that. So I did a follow up with the doctor the other day and he said oh, it's going real well, he showed me the pictures and all. So apparently was it was a labral, the labrum was hanging, they sniffed it, they didn't remove any cartilage which is the good thing. So that's why I'm recovering from this a lot well. Uh, the physical therapy protocol is only about 12 weeks for full recovery. So looking at the calendar, that's the end of March and maybe I can save myself track season this year. So the treatment basically been the same as it was for the past two weeks. Lots of rest, not icing as much. Medication I'm off of now, which is a good thing. You don't want to be on medication for more than a week, honestly. Like I said, one crutch. I say that a bunch of times. My diet has came back. I'm starting to eat a lot better. So January 2nd, and I want to I wanna have some goals for this whole month of January. Number one being no crutches at all by at least one week from now. I know I don't want to rush this, but I want to get off the crutches as soon as possible. It makes everything a lot difficult, and if I get off that, that's a huge step because that could actually put pressure on my leg. So I already tried driving yesterday, and I actually did pretty well, so I could drive. Even though, obviously, I use my right leg to drive off the gas and pedal, I don't really have a problem with that, mainly because I just use my calf. I'm not really activating any of my hip, so it doesn't aggravate or anything like that. So I go to physical therapy today, and I hope everything goes well. I'm not expecting much, I'm not expecting a major increase, but I don't want any pain if I go through this pain free, but I understand I'll be weak, I'll be happy, once again I just want to get as much swelling down as possible, get the circulation going, and hopefully I just get it back to uh, mobility wise. I would like to get into the gym as soon as possible because I can feel myself just, you know, getting skinny, losing weight, I'm weak, I just feel, I'm getting sick, I'm just feeling like... I'm just not feeling as active as I want to be and not how I used to be. So I want to get into the gym as soon as possible, get on my better diet again. I've been eating like high salt, high sodium food lately. And I have no choice, really. I can't really make myself food. I can't really do as much as I could before when I used to go on my diet and bodybuild. And I'm not really trying to bodybuild. I'm just trying to get stronger and bigger because I do have track in about three months. And that is the goal for me. I know I'm not going to be the best as I used to be. But the thing is, it's better than just laying around and doing nothing. I do have some college kids coming up because I do plan on doing track and field in college because football obviously ended in bad and I just don't want to go through that again. Uh, and now I already finished my senior year of football. I think it's time to just put it put it away even though I didn't have the best finish. But maybe I'll change my mind in college. Maybe I'll walk on to a football team. Who knows? So the checkup, the doctor said I was going well. Like I probably said in the early in the video, he said I'm good. So I think I'm going to be all right. I'm just going to go only uphill from here. My incisions are looking great and everything. So. I'm really, I'm really doing good with this. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, and if you guys want more, make sure to subscribe. Now it's January, and I'm getting off my crutches. More videos should be getting better, more reaction videos. I'm trying to stay away from the video game videos because they're just never, they usually never come out right. So I'm gonna try to get more vlogs with Andrea, more lifting videos, and more reaction videos.